Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. I'm your Chief Janka, and today I will continue my Albania, oh it looks so nice, or Iberia achievement run, and uh, yeah, we're looking very healthy, very freaking healthy, oh my god. Um, we're, we're currently claiming some stuff, and once we're done claiming stuff, we probably need to go to war. Um, now Burgundy is defensive, I don't like it. Poland's friendly, Austria's friendly, France is friendly, so I have some chance to go to war with Aragon. Now, can I support Castile's independence? No. He has vassal attitude towards Burgundy. Interesting. And I can do this. Um, now, three years until I get a new tack. Um... But this is actually a pretty good thing. Manpower recovery speed, plus 20%. We already have plus 10%. And then we have army tradition. This is going to be 30% increased. That's pretty freaking good. Um, but I'm not sure if I should. We're going to get another 25 military points. I don't want to miss out on the technology. You know what? I'm going to do it. I think it's... We, we need the manpower anyway. So we're currently 300. So will that change or did it already change? I forgot how much we would get without 20%. Uh, it doesn't show, okay. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But it's definitely useful. Um, and once I'm at 20 manpower again, I will probably build some more dudes. Now I have 10, I can build 20. Gain 5 prestige and lose 5 prestige. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> cool. Well, that was easy. And uh, yeah, I need to get rid of a rela uh, 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 relation. There you go. Styrian nationalists. Are you allied to Hungary? No, you're not. He just doesn't want these guys to cross into his lands. I understand. I totally understand him. Okay, I can build 21 units. I currently have 19. Well, that's not very true. So, 10. I guess one more cannon is good. Build a cannon. So... For some reason, Milan does not get out of the coalition, even though uh, he's at war again. God damn it! Whenever, whenever he's over, he's he's positive. He is in a war, and then once he gets out of the war, um, he's magically dropped below whatever. <laughs> Proof defenses. No, I'm not gonna do any of this. I will conquer Istria. Probably gonna take that mission. Simply because I have the feeling I will have to do that at some point. Now, Burgundy, go back to improve relations with him. I don't want him to be sad. And Austria, the same thing. Improving relations is always good. Okay, so way through 3,000 more men. And, uh... <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> my throat here, what the heck. Portugal has something and I can build some more buildings probably temples I mean oopsie build them here yep am I still making the money from no war operations have ended okay I think it's time for me to abandon these guys It just, they're so expensive. I mean, army maintenance is very high. Go home to, go back to go home at war. Just so I don't lose you next time. Huh. Who else is, is Ferrar in the coalition? Uh, no, he's not. Okay, that's good. Well, I could work on getting Sienna out of the war. Well, he should. 
He's not at war and he's plus 41. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Hungary is my rival. Okay, so combine these troops. Two cannons, two cavalry, and a hundred infantry. Um, get rid of these guys. Let's see how much that will increase. Two ducats, yeah. Two ducats. We're making a lot of money here. Taxation is pretty good. Production, trade, gold, vassals. I like it. I'm very happy. Papal State's no longer my rival. That is okay. And yeah, he was just he just got too weak. Okay, I'll have to find a new rival then. Um, I currently have rivaled Hungary, Venice, and probably Bohemia is gonna be the next one. Aragon would be a good one. Um Ottomans. I can I can rival the Ottomans. Interesting. Tunis. Now Aragon. Um who are your rivals? The enemies are France and Austria. Well that won't work. And your rival is Burgundy. Yeah, so I think Aragon. I need to do Aragon because Well, I wanna go to war with him anyways. So yeah, take Aragon. There you go. There you have it. And Papal States left the coalition. Well how good is that? So we're looking at the coalition. It is my rivals, Venice. Uh, Hungary, Venice, and Aragon. <coughs> and for some reason, it's also Milan and Siena. I think those two should go out of the coalition, and then I will declare the war, because then I'm at war with all of my rivals, and that's fun. It's a lot of fun. And I think I should fund my army, at least a little bit. Now, how much does it cost me? Wow, it's, it's three ducats. Okay, I guess I'll leave it. So we're still making money. It's unbelievable. But also we are at 3 stability, so that makes sense. Okay, there's a couple reformed nations out there. A couple small ones. Siena declared war in Tuscany. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, how about you convert this for me? That would be cool. I would really enjoy that. 20,000 men, so let's get some more dudes, shall we? I can build another 7, I believe. Burgundy calls me to arms against Bohemia. Um, Bohemia, who's your ally? Hungary, Teutonic Order, yes, I guess I will do that. Uh, he's at war with Denmark, Sweden, Brittany, Castile. Yeah, sure. Okay, accept that um, and fund the troops because I might have to fight Hungary. And if so, I would love to get my cores and my claims. And now Austria is the emperor. Wow. Well, so he's lucky he doesn't have to fight. Poor Bohemia. Was called into war and now... Oh, did he, uh, did he not honor the call? Is that, is that possible? No, he is in the war. But he's, uh, not able to call him, call in his allies. So, another temple. Or courthouse. And they're very expensive. Workshop is plus 20 production. Well, that's one ducat over here. Also do Ragusa then. Um, yeah, there's Bohemia. Uh, they look like they want to fight me. And Poland's at war with Teutonic Order and Bohemia. But I'm not... Oh, I cannot because Bohemia's in that. So I cannot join you. Sorry, guy. Wait, was that... Did you declare the war? No, they're defending... Okay, recall from Burgundy. Should I declare war myself? No. Oh, we called into multiple wars, right? Hmm. I guess in this case... Oh, there's not much I can do. What is this war? Yeah. Pretty, pretty easy war. 
Should I claim some more stuff? There's not much I can claim. No, I think I'm fine. I should, though, improve relations with M Milan. Six relations. Another nine relations. Okay, so Sienna. Prove it. Ah. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. We have Western's arm Western arms trade. Uh, you like me all of a sudden. Okay, cool. Uh, how about I give you military access? So once you're done, give you give him military access. Do the transfer trade power thing as well, if that's possible. Come on, come back. Here you go. And I'll give you military access just so I get Western Arms trade. Nice. Cool. Cool stuff. And um, that means I will have to pay less for my things. Nice. I don't really have that much money though. And my diplomats are back. What do I do with my diplomats? Improve relations with him. Maybe with him too. Maybe with him. Nine relations. Yeah. Might as well. And probably Poland's the next one to improve relations with. Uh, no, I'm gonna get a claim on Vidin instead. Uh, Vidin, please? Because if I take that, I can uh, release Bulgaria, which I want. Okay, 23. So I need to build my units. Gain 6 points. Gain inflation. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I could do. I could buy down my inflation with the admin points I have left over. There you go. That was, that was useful. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, yeah. Would have saved me a lot of cash. A weak empire is weak. Because all sorts of reformations going on. Now, Bohemia will probably be Protestant as well. Because they're no longer ca uh, no longer the emperor. So they will probably flip to Protestant. Uh, I'm going to hold off with the idea group. before Or until I get the next attack. Tyrol is Protestant as well. Wow, there's a lot of Protestantism going on. Interesting. I like that. And I'm a reformed defender of the faith. No, I'm not, but it could be. And I will be eventually. Silesia is Protestant. Now, the clan war on him. Who would join? Um, No. Austria is in debt. France would join, and the Poland would not join. It's in that, and he would not join because of defensive. Okay, well, uh, France should be enough, though. Should be enough. And uh, improve relations with Bohemia, maybe. He's my rival, but still, can't hurt. That war with me, okay. Hmm. Maybe Muscovy is a good one. He likes me, and uh, he's a nice powerhouse over there. He will probably... Oh, the Golden Horde fell apart. Chernigov, Smolensk, Kazan, they're all free. Astrakhan as well. Golden Horde collapsed again. Muscovy is over here. Do you have a core? He does. Huh, well... Oh, and the Mamelukes are terribly terrible. There's Crete. Is Crete actually... No, unfortunately, there is no Byzantium. It doesn't have a claim. It has a core on it. But he has cores over here. So I will feed them. How long will they last? They're still all Greek. Okay. Hmm. Have a new diplomat. What do I do with it? Maybe Brittany. 
did port. Oh, I could do Castile. Let's just do Castile. And I'm con oh, I'm ninth rank nine nine rank, rank nine, ninth rank. Uh. Naples has an army again. That's very good to see. Makes me happy. So he will actually be useful in the war. <laughs> But we'll have to do something against the Aragonese naval dominance together with whatever the Venice menace has. The, the menace of Venice. And uh, we have been declared war up on. Venice have honored... Okay, Aragon, that... My king, the bastards in Aragon declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their cause's belly. Okay. Urbino is at war with us. Siena is at war with us. Milan is at war with us. This is very unfortunate. Milan and Siena, I was really hoping that would not be in the coalition, but Venice is at war with us. Byzantium joined, no surprise. Naples, no surprise. Portugal is at war with us. Burgundy joined and Castile joined. France joined. Austria joined. Poland dishonored. The traitorous Poland have refused to join in our just and noble war. Well, that is... Oh, well, they're currently getting their teeth kicked in by Bohemia so I guess I can kind of understand well what I will do is get this tech first and um, press popery act gain missionary strength okay conquer Istria is my mission and I'm at war with this there's an 18,000 stack of Aragonese okay Hmm, but Hungary is not in this war. Cause he he's at war with Siena. Okay. Oh, he's a lot of cores in my land. Um. Well, let's see uh, where this goes. I'll probably go and take Istria myself. Austria is fighting Venice's rebels, and then he gets attacked. That poor bastard. And I think what I should do, um. Considering I'm at war, I should probably change my focus to a war focus, right? That will give me morale. Now, stability. Do I need this? National unrest. This was the one. I don't need it anymore, so. Do war focus. Oh, I can do. Oh, I can do two focus. Three focus at the same time. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. That's good to know. So, destroy the uh, Venice army first. This is woods. Um, he'll gonna arrive on the 3rd. I'll arrive on the 5th. Oh, we caught him. Oh, we have a terrain modifier. Negative terrain modifier. Still gonna crush that, though. And I will go back to sieging. Uh, well, crush his army first, and then kill him. Okay, good. So we have this. Now, there will probably be... Naples is fighting with three ships. I'm gonna go out and help him. Hopefully that uh, actually works. Now my guys... Oh, poor Naples is losing. Uh, go aggressive. Or actually, go whatever you think is best. I, I, I cannot decide right now. <laughs> Not too sure. Okay, I don't want to do this. I have enough money coming oh, I don't have that much money coming in. Um, okay, well, I'll have to stay here then. I'm being attacked. It's a forest. I have a negative... I have a defending penalty. And... God damn it. I have defender bonus, but he's a 5 shock general. Ouch. We're being attacked. And we have the same tactics, they have more morale than we do. What? How's that even possible? I need Burgundians, Burgundian troops to help me, please. Come on. And we won a naval battle. And we didn't lose ships. That's very nice. So go to Zeta. Okay, this is a pretty brutal battle. We have to recover from that. And we also have to 
Well, we need 7,000 men already to fully rebuild our forces. Anyway, that was it for this episode today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, yet another coalition war, but we will definitely win. I mean, we have France, Burgundy, Castile, and Austria on our side. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty confident. Anyway, that was it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Shiv Tranka, signing off.